hey to my beautiful students. It has been a while since I've seen you all or, or since you've seen me. And I just wanted to, you know, since it's our last week, our last week before we go to break, I just wanted to show you me and to be able to share, uh, you know, space with you all. Um, I know we're not technically live and I know that you aren't able to really talk back to me um, like, you know, like how we would if we were face to face. However, I want to really commend the students who have been turning in their assignments. I really appreciate you all for turning in your assignments. Like Sabrina is one who always makes sure that she like communicates to me and, you know, lets me know if she needs help with any type of, uh, any type of thing with the assignment. Also, uh, she always tells me why she is grateful. So if anybody in this room uh, needs to know my email, it's gonna be below in the, 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 the description, smith at rcp at lead ps school. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's my old high school job. K Smith at RCP dot RCP dot look I'm gonna type it into the into the uh into the chat wait hold on I can look at it right here we have time oh K Smith at RCP schools dot org K Smith at RCP schools dot org all right so that is what um you're gonna email your homework too, right? And also, um, shout out to just everybody who has been, you know, really like doing their best with their homework, not just writing like one answer, like really digging deep and like asking me follow up questions. Like, I really appreciate it because if you're, if you need something from me, if you need me to do better, if you need me to do more, if you need me to do more, then let me know and we're gonna be able to do that. That's why we have um, my email, the comment section, you know, like, so yeah, that's that. I just want to introduce, this is still Miss Breeze. I am still here with you all. And I'm super excited to be moving in to the next phase or the 2021 experience of what gardening is gonna be able to be for you all. So today, you're like, Miss Breeze, so you're showing your face. Like, what are we doing today, Miss Breeze? What are we doing? Well, what we're doing, young people, is that we are going to be reviewing what, Miss Breeze, we're going to be doing what? We are going to be reviewing the beautiful topics that we have covered thus far because it's extremely important to be able to go back to the root of, of the foundation of what we've talked about before we move forward, especially going into 2021, right? I don't want to be talking about certain things and we're still talking about what fertilization is. I don't want to be talking about different topics on a more elevated level in a different realm of, of gardening. And we still haven't really mastered what germination is or why it's important for, for certain animals to be in our garden, you know, or what animals are hurtful, what animals are helpful, you know, like, we need to be able to be solid, right? Right. We need to be able to be efficiently aware, uh, efficient in our knowledge and our ability to, to be able to teach somebody else. Because I believe that if you don't know something, no, I believe that you don't know something for like 100% unless you're able to teach somebody else, right? So with that being said, uh, the homework for Thursday is gonna be super cool. You're gonna be writing something. You're gonna be writing, uh, it's not gonna be too long. It's gonna be like two paragraphs and two paragraphs are like five sentences. So like you're gonna be writing 10 sentences about uh, like a, a summary of what you've learned thus far. Of course you can use the videos as a reference, right? You can use the videos to look through and to pick out certain highlights of each video to really like you know like focus on for instance like germination and fertilization and all these things they go in the same order the order in which i chose to teach these things 
they're cyclical, right? It's a cycle. So you can teach about, you can teach about the, uh, the, you can, you, you're essentially going to be teaching me, right? What you learned. All right. So that's going to be fun, right? It's going to be fun, right? Yes, Miss Breeze. Okay, cool. So right now we're going to highlight some of the things that we've discussed. And so this will be like a study guide type of lesson for today. So I have my phone because I, well, do I need my phone? Well, because I could also share my screen. However, I think I'm going to like keep things simple and then just use my phone. I'm on YouTube. Boop. All right, cool. So I want to be transparent with y'all. Um, so here we go. Before, before uh, we switched this PowerPoint vibe, we were doing a lot of like live in the garden. Miss Breeze is getting the weeds. Miss Breeze is doing this. Miss Breeze is doing that. So what I want to do right now is I want to be able to walk through and I want to be able to, uh, for, uh, I, I just want to be able to, um, to go through it step by step with you all, right? All right, here we go. So we, we talked about the need for bugs in the garden, helpful and harmful bugs, right? We talked about the ants and the bats, right? We talked about, we talked about, let me pull it up. We talked about what the purpose of a garden is, right? What is the overall purpose of a You know what? I think it's going to be better for me. Oops, sorry. It's going to be better for me to be able to... It's going to be better for me to be able to um, show it on my screen because this phone thing is not really working. I don't think it's the best way to go about it either. So I'm going to do it like this. And then I'm going to go here to my YouTube. Not oh, the well, speaker. Not the we have the rainbow thing happening right now. Okay, there we go. So we are going to. We are going to go to my YouTube. Destiny, I need you to go and watch your show because I'm teaching my class right now. I don't want to hear if the show's not on, go lay down. All right, all right. So, you all haven't seen Destiny in a while either because usually, or you haven't heard her because I've been teaching, or I make my videos at nighttime, so she's usually sleeping. So, there she goes. Um, so, I'm gonna, oh, I already am sharing my screen, cool. So, we're going to our library, or should I go to my videos? my videos. All right. So maybe I should go to dashboard. Nope, that's not what I should go to. Okay. Let's go to Let's go to content. I'm sorry, young bosses. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go like this. Boom. Our bugs need in the garden. YouTube link. Okay, there we go. So, I'm gonna mute this and we're gonna just briefly walk through it a little bit, all right? All right, so I hope you guys can still see me. You can. All right, so here we go. Are bugs helpful or harmful in the garden, right? We spoke about what the purpose of a garden is, right? The garden is a place to grow vegetables and fruits and herbs and flowers. It's a planned space, usually outdoors. It could be indoors as well. And basically, it's there to help cultivate uh, fruit and vegetables and herbs for you to be able to use right without having to go to the store, right? 
we're coming into a place in time in our world where there are, are it's, it's going to be a food shortage, right? So we need to be able to be able to uh, grow our own food like our ancestors did, correct? All right. So we talked about the ants in the garden and how ants are super, super helpful for being able to like eliminate certain pests in the garden, right? So they help eliminate the bad things, right? And they also help with aeration. Remember, they create little holes so, so that there's able to be oxygen flowing through the soil. We talked about the bats, right? That help fend off mosquitoes, those pesky mosquitoes that eat our peaches. We talked about songbirds, right? Songbirds that help eat the caterpillars that try to eat through the eat through the leaves and the beetles and the slugs and the snails. We talked about the raptor birds, right? The hawk, the, uh, the owls, the, you know, the falcons, these type of animals that help the bigger animals that try to eat our, like the rabbits that try to eat our food and the uh, mouses or the mice, things like that, right? We talked about that. We talked about the dragonflies, the frogs and the ladybugs. Dragonflies are really good at hunting. The, the, uh, the frogs are really good at eating insects. That's what they do. All They just are looking. They're searching for insects, right? And then we have our ladybugs who are really good at eliminating the bad insects in our garden. They look beautiful. They are beautiful, but they also help us. Then we have our aphids, right? Super bad, super bad. Aphids are terrible. They suck the plants nectar and sap out and they make them moldy and they spread viral diseases and they're just, you know, they're just not helpful, right? So we did that. We, we talked about the purpose of a garden and the certain and the different types of animals that are helpful and that are harmful in the garden, right? So let us dig deeper. And let's go to our, it's produce time, right? We talked about produce, right? Produce, what is produce? Fruit and vegetables, right? The definition, we dove, we dove in. I love these PowerPoints, you all. I just really love them. They, they, they really help and they make teaching like super like fun. Okay, so we talked about what are vegetables and those, you know, vegetables are the, are the, the roots, stems and leaves and the vegetables are the ones with the seeds, right? Vegetables, fruits, stems, and leaves. Fruits have seeds. It rhymes, right? So then we talked about the different types of seasons to grow certain fruits and vegetables, right? How there's a cool season and there's a warm season, right? And we talked about the certain types of fruits and vegetables that thrive during these times. For example, kale grows really well in the summertime, but also grows really well in the cool season or the winter because it makes it transfers the enzymes of the fruit sugar enzymes no it transfers the sugar enzymes inside the lettuce to being more sweet right and then we have our warm season our watermelons our zucchinis our squashes tomatoes things like that because they thrive in the sunshine and the warmth of the summertime right well, we talked about this cold that is on the fruit and vegetables. We talked about GMO and organic, right? We talked about how the number nine symbolizes that it's organic, right? And it has five numbers. Then we talked about the number eight, number eight and having five numbers. That means it's GMO. We talked about how GMO is genetically modified organism, right? And that GMO don't have seeds. They are basically fruits and vegetables that are grown in a petri dish in, in a science lab by a scientist. And then we talked about conventional grown, which contains pesticides, right? Pesticides, chemicals to help them grow faster, mass producing these types of fruits and vegetables, rather than allowing for nature to just grow them as they grow, right? So we, we, we broke that down. Then we talked about nature's help me, right? We talked about pollination, the pollinators, the animals that help pollinate the world. We talked about the, the butterflies and the bees and the bats and the water and the air and the, and you know, pollination. We talked about the parts of the flower, the boy part and the girl part, how the anther has the pollen, the filament holds up the anther to, to keep it solid in the stamen, which is the boy part. Then we have the girl part, the pistil or the carpel, correct? That has the stigma, the style and the ovary, right? And then how the, the anther 
produces the pollen and the pollen goes to the stigma from the butterfly or the bee or the bat or the wind or the water and then it goes down the pollen tube right from the boy part to the girl part right pollination pollinators right talked about that we talked about uh you know well yeah miss Bree's already covered this part just now super simple right super simple cross-pollination self-pollination the wind he talks about pollination and then after pollination what happens fertilization right fertilization fertilization happens what happens with fertilization is that when with the boy part of the flower going to the taking the pollen to the girl part of the flower that on the stigma it goes down the pollen tube into the ovary yes flowers have ovaries into the ovary of the flower and guess what it fertilizes it creates fruit it creates a seed right it creates a seed so we talked about the stand the stamen the male part of the flower it has the anther the filament right then we talked about the female part the pistil the stigma the style the ovary the ovules right easy super easy super easy super simple fertilization the process after pollinization or pollination excuse me where the pollen grains go on the stigma and germinate go down the pollen tube and create new life super simple let's see a diagram boom germination zygote hold on let me see let me see boom 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 hold on hold on young bosses here we go here it is embryo there's the seed there's the flower right the flower every single flower remember every single flower produces what fruit just not all the fruit is edible correct correct not all the fruit is edible for example roses rose hip right these things are not edible but they are a fruit then we talked about soil right different types of soil we talked about loam we talked about sand we talked about silk we talked about clay what is the best one loam because loam has sand it has silt it has humus it has clay it has every type of soil inside of it correct correct so now it is time for you to do your homework all right you can do it right now or you can do it you can wait until like you know what wait till i give you the real instructions written down on thursday to do your homework all right but just be reviewing the videos getting the information send me questions if you need some information if you need more information send me questions in my email casemith at rcpschools.org and we will work through this all right and your homework is going to be 10 10 10 10 10 sentences all right super easy super simple I love y'all and I look forward to reading your words and have a great, great, great weekend. Eat a lot of berries. Don't get sick. Drink a lot of water. Eat a lot of limes. Eat a lot of berries. Eliminate your meat consumption and eat a lot of vegetables. All right. This is Ms. Breeze and I'm out.